What you're tasting here is 100% two-row pale ale malt, which is the high color uh, base malt. Fairly strong golden ale. You get a lot of the, you know, a lot of that fruity floral qualities from the fermentation. Like I said, not as efficient, but we're happy to, to suffer a little inefficiency uh, in exchange for flavor and characteristics. We employ the brewing technique of loudering, where we never let the grain ever dry out. We get the mash, we do the conversion, which takes about half an hour of the starch to sugar. Once the starch has been digested by the enzymes, we start draining it off, and then simultaneously, we're adding more hot water to the top. It's called loudering, which is how breweries do it. We use, you know, air-driven pumps for everything that we're doing. About as low-tech as we can do it, you know, filling it by hand here, and uh, that's how we fill every barrel. So we've got dozens of barrels at different entry proofs, so that's our sort of next development. You're always going to hear us talking about experiments and development. Some of what we do is you know, pure innovation, where we're trying some completely different process. But a lot of what we're doing is refinement. We started refilling some uh, stout barrels and such in there. There's a couple of wine barrels, uh, Tempranillo punching that we'll be actually releasing soon. We've always barreled at 124 proof, but there's a wide range of options there, mostly lower proof. It just gives you a different expression of the oak, you know, it produces different characteristics, and so we want to see how barrel fill proof affects our spirit. We've got a bunch of barrels that are hitting three years, so we can actually assess what we think of it. I'm really happy with the whiskey that we make. What we're making now is better than what we made a year ago or two years ago. Hopefully, you know, what we're gonna make in a year or two or five is better than what we're making now. For me, I'm looking for distinct flavors. I'm looking for balance. I'm looking for finesse, all within a you know, very flavorful product. We're kind of trying to have it all. When you finish a glass of our whiskey, I want you to immediately want another one. It's not palate fatiguing, it's not strident in any way. It's very flavorful, very rich, but you know, very sort of deeply satisfying. It really touches my soul. There's a certain amount of science and technology and engineering to all these things. There's a certain amount of just magic. You'll notice the westward has a lot of texture, a lot of mouthfeel, a lot of flavor, because we're encouraging those heavier compounds, heavier congeners to come through.
us minimalist distilling. We're starting with great ingredients, but we are very careful. We have sort of a light touch all the way along so that hopefully a lot of the flavors from the barley and from the fermentation are ending up in the whiskey.